they any business, not, not this is public. Business. This is public business. This is public, sir. Olson, Olson. The, uh, the city has ordered that anybody coming into City Hall is required to wear a face mask due to epidemics. Okay, but if, if, if it's not a law, I, I just want to ask you, sir, because you, do you believe that we have, uh, the, what do you think about the HIPAA law? I'm more willing to speak to you out here with us. If I if I refuse, what would happen? Because I have I have a medical exemption, sir, and then we have the right to keep our paperwork in private. So that's what I'm trying to get, you know, before you kick me out. Well, come over here, I'll, be, I'll speak with you. I'm not kicking you out. I just want to come over here so I can speak with you. I'll have a word with you, sir. But you know, this is a public place. You you don't have the yes, authority sir. to tell me to step out if I don't uh, if yes, I don't agree, you, sir. Because yeah. I'm not breaking any laws. You you were not here to enforce anything else but the law. Actually, I was expecting the city manager. Why is the police here? Um, first of all, I'm not the police. I'm, I'm code enforcement. Okay. Uh, second of all, okay, so the, city manager, I don't... the city manager is not currently in the in the, in the building. Okay, you're it's not here. You're what? So you're not a law enforcement. So you can't just give me orders, sir. Yes, sir. I can. No, you can't. Yes, sir, sir. No, you, no, you can't. You I, I, there's no codes that I need to follow because I'm not breaking any law. So you are breaking a set rule that the city manager who has the right to do this has implemented for city hall the city manager doesn't city have authority yes, to does. to no to trump anyone's rights sir this is a public building okay. I, I am a no, friendly no, person I, i'm not here to create drama or anything i'm just doing a video on our constitutional rights yes, we have the right to walk freely in a public place no so you do not yes i do no, yes, do. I do. Uh, no, so so show so me if the we don't... constitution where it says that you have the right to walk into a government facility, sir. Sir, who finances this operation? The Ta people. Do. Okay, the people do. Sir. That gives us the right to come here. We are no, the sir. bosses, sir. So that so that tells that says sir that you uh you can walk into any military installation. Not restricted area, but anywhere that it's a public uh, a publicly accessible area. Yes, sir. This is a publicly accessible area. As long you... as you follow the guidelines. No, there's no. Place. Listen, we follow the law, sir. No, sir. There are uh, also required no, no, sir. Uh, the people don't go to jail for following. You see, you guys, you guys work here, so you have to follow the guidelines. No one's telling you to go to jail. No, no but trying to put you in jail. No, I understand, but first of all, your first of all, your your uniform is very mis misleading to the public, sir. You have you're wearing a body cam, which is perfectly fine. It's yes, part sir. of the First Amendment. Uh, you have a badge, yes, okay? You have a radio. Yes, you have the. Uh, you're giving me orders. What would I think? that you are a police officer. That's not good, first of all. I you're misleading me. Officer. Okay, but I you're not- I still have the same- You don't enforce, you're not, you're, no, you don't have the re the authority to enforce any, to tell anyone to leave this building, sir. Yes, I do, sir. No, unless anyone's breaking the law, you don't have any authority. You can sir. say whatever you want, but you're at work. So you, ha you have to follow the, co the codes and the policies and everything else, sir. Yes. No, not to be, I'm not trying to be disrespectful with you in any way, mm -hmm. but I need you to understand that we have the right to walk freely in this building without yes, being bothered. Do. Yes, we do. We can debate this all day, sir. Yes, this sir. is You're this right. is financed by by tax dollars. You're right. So, so what makes you believe, sir? First of all, this is not a military so installation. This is a, this is not this is not Fort Knox, sir. This is the city hall. You're correct. Okay. And this City is the hall, just like any other government building. Uh, correct, but there's, there's the yeah, there's building. restricted areas and there's publicly accessible areas. Yes, this is a publicly accessible area, sir. I mean, is there a police officer that we can speak to? I'm not trying to call the police because they have better. Okay. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Can you send a unit to City Hall uh, to speak with the individual, please? You see, I'm very, I'm very concerned, sir, that that you believe that. Hey, how are you? How are you? Are you the city manager? I am. Hi, how are you? I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Say it again. Enrique. Enrique. Yes. I'm sorry if I messed it up. Okay. No, no problem. We have thousands watching right now. Um, I'm just trying to walk freely in the people's building without being bothered. I'm not going to interrupt the business in any way. I'm just working on a video peacefully in a low tone of voice. I'm not trying to uh, create any drama here or anything, okay, but this fine. gentleman uh, that looks like a police officer uh, yes, started telling me that I need to leave the city hall 
this we should be we should be welcome to come here right this is Dude, he says he says we don't have the right to come here because this is no. like fort knox okay hold that's on. what he's hold so you just said sir hold on sir let me ask you a question yes sir what business do you have in city hall well i was on my way to do a public records request um okay. i need to find out where it says that us the public don't have the right to come in 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 this building because this gentleman no, says sir, we no, don't sir. you have the right to come into the building oh now we have the right no wait hold on let me clarify that now we have the right i'm, no, I'm gonna clarify it. okay you ask it a question okay and i think that's probably what this gentleman i don't know what he okay. said but you have the right to come in the building no problem okay the only thing is we ask is if you come in our building that you have a temperature checked and you wear a mask to enter the building do you know what the hipaa law is yes sir i sure do okay do you know what the fourth amendment is Yes, sir, I do. So we have the right to our private to keep our documents in private. I I've already stated that I am uh, I have medical exemption paperwork for this. I can show it, but I'd be waiving my Fourth Amendment and and I'd be uh, showing you guys my medical paperwork. You wouldn't want to show anyone your make medical paperwork, would you? Especially if if it's a operation that you're financing, because everybody chips in to the city hall. Sure. So. Sure. I'm not trying to uh, be rude okay. or anything, sir, no, but... And, and you're not. And but you're not. you do know we have the right to keep our documents in private until we're breaking the law. Then that's when the police can demand ID and uh, and give you orders. Yeah. Until then, you know, nicely, you know, the people are the bosses. So I'm just trying to show uh, our viewers that you know we 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 as long as you're friendly although the first amendment protects you to say some what people don't want don't want to to hear uh you know we choose to be friendly and walk freely in the people's building because i can't go to a private property and and do my videos you see so the only the only place i can go is to public publicly financed publicly funded places such as the city hall you know everybody here is supposed to be actually the the policy states that you have to be courteous professional yes sir you know just like you are to me right now uh this gentleman was uh you know he was he was nice but he's giving me he's giving me unlawful orders and he said he was giving me a lawful order and and his uh uniform is misleading to the public because no, he's a, he's a code and code enforcement officer. but not law enforcement he enforces ordinances within the city well, there's no ordinance that says that I have to uh, wear a mask. There is rules within our city. Right there's now. rules, sir, for sir, the employees. Okay, and please, you know, let me, I please, let, please let me. I'll let you speak. Okay? Go ahead, sir. We have we have abilities for you to perform any services that we have, any requests for documentation that you have, any bills that you would like to pay, any questions that you have. They can be found. You can go to our website. We'll communicate with you via email, text. You can pay your bills online. You can do anything that you need to do. You can do via line. If you wish to enter our building, you're going to need a mask and you're going to need to have your temperature checked. What law states that? That is the rules. That but you see that you, you got, well, well, we're going to debate this sir, with the police. No, no, sir, we're, no, sir, we're not going Yeah, to. we already called the police. So well, we're not going to debate it. Anymore. We are, sir, because this is the people's building. No, you don't own I this don't, building. I, no, you may have. I'm in charge of it, and I'm. Yeah, well, you, we're yeah, going to have to. We're going to have to change those rules, my friend, because this is this is public, bro. I respect you, sir. <laughs> yeah. I'm also responsible for everyone that enters that door. I'm responsible for their health and well-being, including you, my. Are you are you a doctor? No, no sir. you're the city manager, sir. You're supposed to make sure that the employees of the city are doing their job correctly. That's right. Exactly. And this safely. is you, you can't you can't and trump safely, people's sir. rights. And this is safely, sir. What about the Fourth Amendment? What about the HIPAA law? You want everybody to waive that on their way in, sir? We have thousands watching. I'm telling you, thousands. So if unless you want a lot of phone calls. I mean, people are gonna. I don't. I don't encourage anyone to call here. But if anyone wants to voice their concerns about the city, uh, uh, city hall in St. Mary's, Georgia, where the the city manager says that in order to enter, I have to waive the Fourth Amendment and and cover my face, although I have medical exemption. Do you know how much this was? I, I'm not trying to look for any of that. I have never sued anyone in my life. But if do you know how much it would cost the city? For you guys to mess up like that uh, uh, with a person that has a medical condition. Sir, 
sir. A lot, you, sir. If you would, sir, if you'd like, if you have business that you need something from I do. City Hall. I do. I want to do a public records request that you states like, everything you you're like, telling me. You, would you like for me to go get you a public or a piece of paper to fill out. You're of course. welcome to do it right out here. I will. And we'll accommodate your, your desire. I, I will. I will. I will. Okay. I will. You, I'm going to talk to this girl. lady right here. How are you, ma'am? Hello. How are we doing? The, good. How are you? Car Cartagena? Cartagena. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Cartagena. Uh, my name's Enrique. There goes my Fourth Amendment. <laughs> Hi, Enrique. Nice to meet you. I'm on Prisoner Cartagena with the St. Mary's Police Department. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm here doing a friendly video about the United States Constitution and about our rights and uh, about our uh, rights to walk freely in a public building as long as we're not being disorderly or breaking any laws. Okay. We have the right to uh, work on a story as I'm doing right now and publish it. Um, not trying to create any drama or anything, but we we are we're having a disagreement right here with the uh, with the rules. You see, we're yeah. here we're here about the law, Correct. okay? Yes. Not the rules. The rules are for employees and for people. Okay, I know for a fact I can't walk in there smoking a cigarette or anything like that. You know, common sense stuff. But I have the right to go into the city hall <laughs> without un unbothered. You know, they're they're. Tr I'm trying. I'm concerned about my. Fourth Amendment here. I'm concerned about my so fourth, the, fourth Amendment. How you doing, sir? The city manager Horton spoke to you yet? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What was the question, please? I said, did Mr. Horton speak to you yet? Yes. Okay. So, if Mr. Horton right. speaks to you, whatever rules or laws that he <laughs> said about no, 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 they're they're kick it, that in there is equivalent to the public sidewalk. You can't just tell people to leave. What about my Fourth Amendment? You guys are here to protect the Constitution and my rights before anything. So ha him telling me that I have to leave because there's a rule. People don't go to jail for a rule. So no, I could just walk in there. Are you gonna trespass me for not, for what crime? I did not say you couldn't go in there. I said if you go in there, you'll have to wear. Sir, I have to. What about the HIPAA law? Do you know Do you know about the HIPAA law, ma'am? We well, I, I well, I'm, I've been. I, I don't have to explain my medical my my medical reasons. You know what I'm saying? We all have the right to keep our medical paperwork in you're, private. You're so, right, are sir. you like a, a show? We have we have we have we have, we have, thou like we have thousands of people watching right now, ma'am. Okay. And 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 this is not my first rodeo. I've been to multiple, multiple, multiple city halls across the nation. What you're saying is not correct, sir. I am sorry, but it's not correct. You don't have authority to tell anyone here that they can't. Look, you can say whatever you want, sir, but people can nicely refuse, okay? We can, we can be nice about it, you know? We're not, no okay. one's here, here being rude. I'm just trying to stand up for my rights. If I, if I may, just for a moment? Sure. Okay, this is the form that you were requesting your documents. Thank if you. You'll fill that out. And I will. Can, and you can email that back in. I will. And uh, we'll provide you whatever. I will. Well, do you do you agree with this, sir? Yeah, I'll go ahead and just grab him. That's uh, ready, actually. Sir? We're just going to go ahead and have the sergeant on the on the ship at the moment just come over and talk to you, all right? Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, look, real heroes here. Thank you for protecting our Constitution, gentlemen. Thank you. Um. So, how do you like being a cop here in this city? So, at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and... No comment. Am I being detained? Absolutely not. Okay, cool. Nope. No one's here is detained. I mean, we're cool. all free standing here. Cool, cool. You see, I'm just trying to make sure that policy is not law. You see, you can put a policy for, for employees. Your employees have to follow it. But the public, you can't just say, hey, leave. Because let's say, let's say I was to be like, no, no, you don't have authority. And I would have walked in. Then you would have said to the cops that uh, uh, you want me to trespass because you said I have to leave. If these police officers are not well uh, aware about our constitutional rights, they would have uh, probably ended up trespassing me with no crime. Then I'm trespassed from a public place with no crime. Then they want ID. Then if I don't give ID, then I'm obstructing a police officer. If I'm obstructing a police officer, then now I have trespassing and obstruction of a police officer. That's two crime. I mean, two, two charges with no crime. Where's the where's the where's the uh, primary charge? No primary charge. Then they're going to start saying, oh, well, he was being loud or something. Because the only way that you could pretty much tell me to leave from there is if I'm being disorderly or if I'm stopping the, the business. You, you're a police officer, ma'am. You're a very smart person. You do investigations. 
I am highly positive that you agree with me, but. Can I ask you one question? Sure. You asked me one, and I want to kind of turn the tables on you sure. just a minute. You asked me if I was a doctor. Did you not? I did. You did. That's right. Are you an attorney? No. I am a, okay. I am a citizen. Uh, uh, I am a citizen oh, yes, that knows sir. my rights. You are absolutely right. You, you don't need. I am. I don't need to be an attorney to exercise my rights. You see, I can actually hire one. No, 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 no. I actually no. have one. You're absolutely right. I hire one. A, a very good one, actually. I have. That's fine. I have a very no, good. Sir, I just wanted to clarify for the record. That's all I wanted. Yeah, to shout, shout outs to Shauna Curlin. Very, very good attorney. You know, yeah. we never had to use her for anything, but she gets yeah. excited. You know, when she sees this kind of stuff. I'm sure. She gets excited. That's fine. <laughs> well, sir, I have to protect. I don't uh, have to just protect. You see, but 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 your no, question, no, 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 your no, no, question no, no. was let, sarcastic. Let me finish. You had a sarcastic. You had a sarcastic please question. Please allow me. You're supposed to be it courteous was not and sarcastic. Yes, it is. No, it wasn't. Yes, it is. No, sir, it wasn't. It was just sarcastic. Your question yes, it was. Yes, it was. Because you say that you're, I'm not the one that said that, uh, that I know the law. I said I know my rights. I ask you, I ask so you're you, asking sir, me, you're the one that said I that. I asked you if you were an attorney. Okay. And, you're the, and I asked you if you were the, a doctor because you said you're responsible for everybody's I health am. in here. Yes, sir, I am. Sir. People that enter that building, I am responsible. Did you know not even police officers are responsible for anyone's life? They could, they could walk away during a shooting and they're not going to be held liable for that did yes, you know sir. that no one no one here is no, they will. you have no they won't no they won't well yeah they'll get fired but they won't go to jail it's not breaking a law you're not a doctor not that you're not discussion. you're not this responsible for anyone's health here temperature yes, check sir. come on that officer agrees with me because i said it in front of her. she didn't say no but you see now we have to wait for the supervisor although this is something that could be taken care of by them why why do you believe why Cartagena, why why do you why do you believe sure sorry why do, what no it's all cool why why do you believe that we need a supervisor i just for protocol for me, I prefer a sergeant to be here to speak to you, and that way we can get it all taken care of all I want. But you, 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 uh, underst you understand what I'm so saying, right? You're, you're not accepting anything she has to say right now or anything like that. So I'd rather you just hear it from a sergeant or supervisor than have to keep explaining it to you. Over. Oh, you guys, you guys are not letting me in no, no, without a mask. No, what what crime would you charge me if I if I walk in without a mask? What, you, what? Let me ask you a question. For many years, there's been signs on doors in Puerto Rico too. Mm -hmm. No shoes, no shirt, no service, right? Private property. No shoes, no shirt, no service, right? All right. In the bodegas. Private. That's private. In Puerto Rico and yeah. In yeah, my mama, but that's Rico. private. That's private. This no is public. Shoes, no, no, this shirt, is public. No service. Well, we have shoes. We have we have we have nice shoes. So, so nice. Let's, let's go ahead and just pretend that it's shoes, shirt, and the service. Let's just it's just a mask. Ma'am, I, I, what about what, what, what if I bring now, what if I waive my fourth amendment and show medical paperwork that states that I don't have to wear a mask, then you guys are going are, are under, you see, you guys are risking it all but for a rule. Paperwork there that you can provide to them? Well, what about my fourth amendment? You guys are risking it all for your ego. Yes, you are. How you, how you doing? Are you a sergeant? How you doing, sergeant? Nice to meet you. Uh, we have thousands watching, sir. I go around the entire nation standing up for our, for our constitutional rights and, and, and showing love for our country, okay? We love good, courteous, professional public employees and police officers. I am a friendly person, okay? I walk in here automatically. This is a public building. Automatically, they want me to waive my Fourth Amendment on the way in. They want to ask questions. They want to, uh, they want to find out what I'm doing here. They want me to wear a mask. Now, what about the HIPAA law? What about the HIPAA law? Don't I have the right to keep my, my medical, my medical uh, documents in private? Okay. Is there a law that states that I have to wear a mask in public? There, there you have to work. Public. Like, not public, no. Okay, that's in public. The, that's, uh, yes, inside it, the building is not sir, public. Sir, you are wrong. <laughs> No, sir. This is this is a public. You go, you this is a publicly accessible. Who finances this building? Can I, can I, can I talk one sir, you're so telling you me it's can private. Take a gun into a, into a, sir, no federal or government agency. What about the Second Amendment? Hmm? 
What about the Second Amendment? That's what I'm talking about. That's where your gun comes from. Okay. Well, you said what about the gun? I'm talking about... I have a camera. <laughs> I understand that. So, this is a publicly accessible area, okay. Sergeant. You're Sergeant? Yes, sir. We should all agree to this. I don't understand why you're saying that not in there. You see, we have we have freedoms here, sir. This is not Nazi Germany. I don't have to provide but paperwork. you don't have to go in there. Well, I came here for this paper, but I was I, I was forced to do it outside, yeah. and that's what. Why is that? Is it is it is it because of the way I look? Because of the mask. What if I was wearing a What if I was wearing a nice suit and I was a white guy? You still have to wear a mask. I don't want to bring in the race, but I. I Me I, wearing a badge, I have to wear a mask. That's because you're at work, but I am I'm not at work. We Even are part, we're boss? members we're members of the public that finance yeah. this entire operation. Okay. We are the bosses until you guys uh, until we break Even the law, when sir. I go in there off my duty. I have to wear a mask. That's because you're at work. Off duty, that you Thanks. you're free. You're free. Thanks. You're a free a citizen. That building, otherwise, I can't. I can't go in there and pay my water bill. What? Okay. All right. So you guys already have made a decision on this. Yes, now, what law would I be breaking if I don't wear a mask in there? Okay, so if I go in there, you'd be trespassing me, right? But in order for you to, but in order for you to trespass me from a public place, you need a, a primary charge, which is a crime. It should be me being disorderly or something. Now, no one's being disorderly, so we need to find out the primary charge that you would charge me with if I was to walk in there right now against your will. Well, right now, we've been told not to go in there, so that's basically not you. No, but I want to. I, I want to know what you see. You don't have an answer that's for me. Where the, well, okay, do you know how what the disorderly conduct statute says? Because I know I have to be I have to I I, I have to be do I have to I have to be in well why would you say why would you say disorderly if you don't know the top of the top of your head? I have to be engaged in loud, unreasonable noises, I have to be engaged in tumultuous behavior, you know, I have to be making threats, stuff like that. No one here is making threats. I am a nice guy trying to work on a story uh, and publish it. I was just curious what it was. About the First Amendment. I'm telling you guys, we have thousands watching. We have, 100, we have 130 million combined views on the internet. You guys should stand up for freedom and let everyone know that here in Georgia, in the St. Mary City Hall, people, the people are the bosses. The people have the, uh, have the power to, to, to fire any one of you guys. Because question, are you from this town? I don't answer questions. Okay. I don't answer questions. But but you guys do. And you guys have a lot to answer because because you can't just stop. Right now you guys are being disorderly. Because you're disturbing my peace. You see, I could have all of you arrested right now. I know. I, sir, I, I could leave? Really? And I could stay, sir. But... You see, you guys are being disorderly. You're you're breaking the law, uh, sir. And and, and ma'am, if you don't stand up for, for for the law and for our rights, you're also being disorderly. I'm standing up for what's right and what's wrong. Okay, what about my rights? But what about our first what about our fourth amendment? What about our rights? What about our fifth amendment? What about our rights to, 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 to keep our stuff private? You guys are you guys are all not concerned at all about that. Why are you not talking about, about that? About what specifically? Our right to be free in the people's building, unbothered, walking freely, unbothered. So you There's are, no law that's... It was your place of business, but you let anybody come in freely walking around? I make my own rules. This is not their place of business. This is everybody's. Uh, this is everybody's. Are you from this town? I don't answer questions. But but I'm sure the city that I'm, the, I'm sure the city uh, this city gets federal fundings. We have, we're called the United States. Even if I was from Maine or from California, we have the right to be here and enter this building. You see, this gentleman, his uh, his uniform is very misleading to the public. What does he look like to you right now? Let's be real. What does this gentleman look like to you, ma'am? I don't answer questions. Yes, you do. You're a public servant. I don't have to answer your questions. Yes, you do, ma'am. You're a public servant. He looks like a police officer. You see, this guy, this guy said, I'm giving you a lawful order. So, I mean, are you guys ordering me to leave the sidewalk too, or we're good here? I was just trying to figure out what did you want to accomplish today? What I just want, I just want you guys to stand up for, for what's right, you know? But what was your main goal today? Did you just want to go in there and say hi to people? Like, what was the main goal? I I, 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 I actually was nice enough 
to explain everybody what I was doing as soon as I walked in, you know? And, and then this is what I get. We I'm don't pretty have to... sure if you would have called in, made an appointment, a schedule to sit, they would have had whoever resources here to sit with you and talk to you and give you the laws and the rules and regulations or everybody they wanted to know. Um, but you know, showing up on a Friday afternoon when people are busy and we don't know what's going on. I mean, well, it's, it's, I figure it's open for business, you know, and, and we don't have, we don't have, this is not, is, is this a small city? Yeah, that's why we're saying like our community don't give us the, the talk that you're telling us right now. That's what I don't get what's going on. That's because, that's, that's because. That's what I'm saying, everybody's okay. This, this is a small town. That's because not everybody has the same job as me. You know, so what is your job? <laughs> my job is to educate everybody on the con on the Constitution. Okay. I've educated over 100 million people in the past two and a half years. Uh, you can find us uh, in all the platforms. You're you have a business card or anything? Uh, I, I do. Uh, you guys will see this video. I'll tag you guys. You guys, you guys will see the video. It's sad that, you know, you guys are telling me that I can't go in. You can't state what law I'd be breaking. But you're giving me orders. Uh, I don't know. So I, he's a sergeant. He's not wearing any any stripes. So I know you don't like to ask questions, but can you walk into um, the congressional building? If it's a public building, anywhere that's in a public building, yes. Yeah, you can walk, walk in, walk in a Capitol too. We go. We we've Capitol, been yeah. we've been to all the state. Uh, well, about thirty state house? house. You could walk in the White House. You can. You have to check you in. Have to, you have to follow regulations when you walk into the White House. Yes, this is not the White House. Do you, do you have to follow regulations when you walk into the Capitol building? No, not all. Airport. Not not everywhere. The airport. the airport is a public place as well. But you you see, you're traveling with private companies, and we have the TSA, who also violates a lot of people's Fourth Amendment. They they they're the number one at groping, along <laughs> along with Joe Biden. Uh, we've confronted Joe Biden face to face. Uh, Donald Trump face to face, Kamala Harris, one million views. Um, hey, who are you again? I don't answer questions, but you'll find out tomorrow. Uh, Bernie Sanders in Vermont, um, so, made made international news I with know, Joe again, Biden. I know you don't answer questions. But yes. If you have to follow rules and regulations to get into the White House, to get into uh, the Capitol building, to get into uh, the governor's um, headquarters here in Georgia. What makes, you think, sir, what, sir. Makes you th what makes you think there's any difference between entering a city hall? Sir, this is the people's building, okay? So there's the restricted buildings. areas. I'm sure you have a restricted area. There are private offices that you can't go into. Yes, that's that's something that's uh, uh, normal. You know, you have public area and restricted area. But you can't assume that the whole building is restricted, buddy. We, you can't. Restricted, sir. sir, we told you you're more than welcome to come in there as yes. long as you follow You're the putting rules. restrictions... Well, I, I follow the law. I don't care about the rules. I follow the law. As long as these gentlemen right here are talking about the law and stating law to me, then we don't have a problem because then they'll be like, okay, well, she's stating the law. But she doesn't know what law I'd be breaking. They'll be like, just, they'll just be like, oh, well, we're going to trespass you with no crime. And then you can't beat the, the ride, but you can, what is it? You can, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the, the, the ride. You'll take me, you'll take me to jail for trespassing without a primary charge. And then, and then what? It goes to the prosecutor and then they'll be like- How many people have you defended? I'm, myself. What do you mean defended? The million rules never were against you or with you or are they opposing you or? Well, it's like, every, it's like everything. We have people that agree and people that disagree. But it's, that's what the First Amendment and that's what the, this country is all about. You know, uh, uh, respecting everybody's First Amendment, everybody's opinion. Everybody have uh, uh, the right to say whatever they want. The government works for us. We don't work for you, sir. You don't make the rules. I'm not on you that bullshit. Yeah, bro. You're, you're, you see, I'm a guy that, that pays close attention to first, uh, first reactions. And your first reaction wasn't, first of all, courteous and professional. You should have walked up to me and said, how you doing, sir? My name is so-and-so. Uh, my position here is whatever, code enforcement. And then I would have assumed that you're a police officer because I asked you if you were giving me lawful orders. And then he says yes, without there being a law, which makes you a liar, sir, because you don't have a law that states that, 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 you, that gives you authority to get me out of here. You like my tattoos? 
What do you think about the thin blue line? Do you, do you, did you know it's a, what is it? Uh, desecration of the American flag. Most people uh, agree that our flag is uh, red, white, and blue. Once you change the colors of the American flag, some people can take it disrespectful, but you're free to do whatever you want. I believe, I, I, I actually like that one. I would rather you guys wear the, the, that one, the one you have on your wrist, because you are making your own flag pretty much right there. You don't have the stars and stuff. I'm just a, I'm just a, I'm just a patriot and I love our freedoms. I love our country. You know, this costs a lot of money. You make good money. You make good money. He makes good. Look at guys. Look at these. Look at these cars that we have. You guys make good money. You could be working at somewhere else, you know, making way less. You have a good job. I mean, look at this equipment. You look all fancy and stuff with your uh, Second Amendment everywhere. <laughs> sir, uh, sir, again, I know you don't answer questions, but you are uh, proud of our uh, Coast Guard personnel that went in row A. You thanked them for serving country and, and said that they were upholding. Um, have you served our country? I serve my country every day, sir. Do you serve in the military? I have not, but I support our military 100%. Have you served in any form of government? I don't answer questions, but I serve, I, I, I serve, I, I, I serve my country. Let's just go back over here. I serve my country. No, hey, let them, let them. We don't, I'm not trying to I'm, argue. I'm just, no, I'm just curious because, you know. I serve my country every day by doing about, what I do. Standing patriots. up for freedom. You talk about patriots. I what, stand for freedom, sir. What do you consider I'm, patriots? I love freedom. I would die for my freedom, sir. And for your freedom, too. It's, yes, sir. That's yeah, what I, you know? I spent 20 years in the military, which means I put my life on the line for your freedoms. Okay, then I appreciate you. Freedoms. I appreciate all the hard work you did during those years, and you continue to do some work. But right now, brother, you're you you need a uh, you need a uh, a catching up on the Constitution again because I know you went to the military 20 years ago. Maybe you need to go back to the Constitution and and make and stand more for freedom because actually, military personnel love what we do actually. They love what we do. We have we have hundreds of. What is it that you do? Standing up for the First Amendment. What is there? A freedom of the press. So is this freedom? Is that what you're called? Freedom of the press. That's what it is. That's what they're. That's what. That's what the First Amendment protects. And how are we suppressing the press right now, sir? You are interfering with my First Amendment. I'm trying to go in there, work on a video, and you're you're stopping me. You're disturbing my peace. No, you're actually sir. breaking the law. No, sir. We have told you numerous times. You are more than welcome to go in there. But there's no law. You you're trying to enforce. To the you're trying to give me unlawful orders. That you take a temperature and that you put on a mask. That's unlawful. No, sir, it's not. Yes, it is. You're, I, I don't have to agree. You can ask. Yes. That's fine, but he doesn't have to let you in. Yes, he does. Because he doesn't own this building. This is not private property. You guys are not understanding. <laughs> Do you know the difference between Do you know the difference between public property and private property? This is public property, ma'am. Yes, you talk to your superior. He agrees with me. With freedom. Well, freedom's good, but you can't go into this building without the authorization of the people that authorize it. What? He's one authorization. It's what law would I be breaking? It's For what crime? What crime? They've asked you to leave or put a mask on. If you don't do that, but one or the other, that's considered criminal trespassing. Okay, so that's what your boss told you. We're going to... Uh, I, I understand, sir, that you have a superior, but you have to follow the Constitution and our freedoms. This is not This is not the mom and pop store in the corner that no, can say you have to leave and you... This is our place of business, which I'm conducting. And what is it you're conducting? I'm sorry. I'm trying. Oh, right now, I'm sir, I have a list of a lot of things that I need to request. Okay. I also need to uh, contact uh, the police department and find out who's the person, the superior in charge right now. You're a sergeant, so whoever's in charge of the sergeants today is going to find out who we are, and 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 we're gonna and we're gonna go uh, pursue this in a peaceful way. That's cool. You know, because you guys work for us, sir. You're being disorderly. You're breaking the law. So are you, and and so are you, because you have, you're you're. You have all the rights in the world to be out here. That's cool. And in there too. Say what you want. You cannot go in there without the mask. If you what go in law, there without what the law mask, is that? I just told you, criminal trespass. No, that's the, uh, the person has authorized. How does criminal trespass go relate to a mask? Hmm? How does criminal trespass relate to a mask? Because that is their rules to go in there. Okay. Sir, I don't follow rules. I follow the I, law. I, I You're a law enforcer, sir, not a rule exactly enforcer. You're enforcer. You're forcing rules. Any 
business can do this. No, no, yes, they any business. Not, not this is public. A business. This is public business. This is, a business. This is public, sir. Can I go Olson, to? Olson, stand up for what's right, brother. I've already done. No, you haven't, brother. You have the choice. You, you ever heard of want? First Amendment audits? I am done with you. Sir. You guys just failed. Time. It's gonna be on YouTube, and and thousands are gonna see it. Sir, it's not good that you're gonna be there forever. I have to. Then there was the federal government. Then there was the city. Whether it's the city manager, whether it's this gentleman right now with this building, that is where they're, they're authorizing. Everybody's being disorderly here. That's uh, you guys are disturbing my peace. I am sad. It's a sad day for the Constitution. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Take care. You too. Remember, you don't own this building. Unbelievable, guys. On freaking real. Cops are being tyrants as usual. They believe that the city hall is a private place. Any business can do this. Any business can do this. They believe that they could, they could enforce rules over the law. They can enforce feelings over the law. Well, tell you what, tyrants. That's why Mr. America does what he does. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to post this on YouTube and you guys be the judge. Guys, find Auditing America on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Find us everywhere. Everywhere. See you next time.